Hi Virgos, welcome to your March reading. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. All right, so Virgo, we're having a um, new moon in Pisces tomorrow. And we're having your beautiful full moon in the month of March, actually. So there's a lot of moon energy coming through around you because it's your opposite and then it's your full moon, actually. So what you will see is that you naturally are starting to feel drawn towards releasing some of the control, releasing some of the um, expectations around outcomes, around the way people show up, the way you can show up, the way your health is playing out. It's like allowing the universe to just sort of take the wheel, okay, and follow the guidance because it's trying to get you into a new energy, a new place which is very beneficial for the next months to come but you have to allow it because it's not going to feel very uh, easy if you try to hold on to a certain way of what something should um, look like or feel like or taste like or you know feel like basically so if you're allowing it to just come in as it as it's meant to actually you surprise yourself with um with how much energy you have left over okay i do really feel that strongly i also see constantly this blank page i don't know if that's something that's connected to you maybe you've been trying to write but you have a writer's block so you keep ending up with this blank page um and that's it you know but what i feel overall is about it's a new way of doing things like sometimes you start a journal right and you have a journal and you have this blank page but there are already lines on it and i feel that you've been trying to do sort of a bullet journal you know i don't know if you know what that is but then between the lines so you constantly are still sort of restricted by that and i feel like you're releasing that and it's like no the whole blank page that means that i can make one letter a page or i can do it in a very small way a big way or whatever like be creative with things don't think that something has to have a certain way of starting you don't need that lap laptop to start that project or things like that there are many ways around it like try and not keep yourself stuck stagnant by thinking you need a certain way um to to start something off to to lift something off is what i keep hearing so that's my for some of you and this was coming true if you allow that energy to to you know that energy to just play a little bit then um you might surprise yourself okay that's just what i keep hearing virgo be, will be surprised <laughs> with the outcome okay it's just about like some having a per person organize your i don't know baby shower for example and you know it's gonna come you don't know when it's gonna come but you're gonna have to trust the person to do it the way uh, they think that you want it and then just see you might be surprised you might see things on your baby shower you never would have thought of but you love you don't know it's just <laughs> it's a little bit like that okay i know it's not natural it doesn't naturally come to you but um if you're practicing it it will help you a lot in 2020 because it's all about trying to just go with the flow let's see what else is coming through for you virgo i'm using a new deck and I'm so excited I finally have this deck. Some of my subscribers actually asked if I could start, you know, doing readings with this deck as well. But um, I got it as a present and I'm so happy with it. Uh, it's the Modern Witch Tarot uh, for the people who are interested in it. And it's beautiful and it's very empowering, especially for us feminines. So you don't have to be masculine or feminine it's just overall i just feel like this sense of girl power woman power empowerment coming through this card because it's it's just all types of shapes of women all types of shapes uh, uh or color ranges and everything it's just skin shades it's just beautiful i love it okay i love it because i want to have everybody feeling included as well as much possible and of course i will have my male um that might not feel that much connected to but it's it's a beautiful deck okay it's just i don't know how to explain it i just love this deck and i'm gonna read do your reading with it okay <laughs> let's just get started it's modern as well so you might see some cell phones some laptops some motorcycles in it i'm just saying here you go beautiful strength and the 
star card. You might be surprised, Virgo. You might be surprised how beautiful this can turn out if you try to tempt that inner voice within that's telling you that it got to be this way. It's always been that way. We have to stick to the routine. You see how beautiful she is one with her fear. I see the lion is fearless basically, but so can be the negative side of our minds, of the fear side within us. She is not afraid of her shadow. She is embracing it and nurturing her shadow side. And it's like, I would never have stand on this mountain. I would never have been here if I would have only come with my um, fearless side of my, my feminine side. It's like, I need both to be here to feel complete in on my journey. So it's both sides, allowing the darkness and the light to be. And there's so much strength in that. It's like, oh, I feel a certain way. I gotta get out of that because I want to feel good. No, it's about, it's okay to feel this way. I'm just not gonna judge myself for it. So it doesn't hold that much weight, you know? So I think overall you're overcoming something, a fear of trying something in a new way or, um, you know, overcoming a way of thinking about yourself and about your body maybe or about your journey. And I feel some of you are really time shaming yourselves. Like I'm already 34 years old and I had to be here or I'm 50 and I will, now I want to start school. Yes. You know what? Why not? Because you're worth it. Because every breathing moment you are still here on this earth, whether you are 19 or you're 90, you're never too old and never too young to learn something new or to learn an old thing in a new way. Because if we're no longer evolving, we don't have any purpose on this earth. So that's what I'm getting with this card for you. Then we have the beautiful star card who's coming through as well. And the star card could be an Aquarius and it's like sort of the opposite energy. Um, but don't pin it down too much to like Leo or Aquarius because everybody holds all signs within them in a way. What I see is that you had to come a long way to come in alignment with the purpose and to what you're meant to learn in this period of time in your life. So you're coming in alignment with your true nature. You're learning to accept and I kept keeps hearing us you learn to accept your body and that's very powerful you know but also the way things flow you might have your good days and you might have your you know bad days but what are bad days and really trying to find a light within that and it does have purpose everything has a certain type of purpose but what it feels like you're getting a wish come true okay so let me see that's a little bit too many cards so i'm gonna shuffle it's a new deck so it's it's not that easy to shuffle yet but let me see there we go Virgo, page of wands you're starting a new journey see it's it's about seeing things come to fruition in their own time observing it observing your own journey as well observing what it took you to get to this point maybe you should write like during your full moon write down what you have overcome and the things that you might never thought that you'd be able to do and things that you actually end up doing or the way you feel about yourself and um, it's just about that's a blank space energy again it's about starting a new journey and and it's okay if you have to start if you are a beginner at something if you don't know everything yet and, and find um joy in that as well it's exciting it's new okay let me see beautiful look the ten of cups it's such a beautiful card i love that these are two women to get that um so the ten of cups the journey you're on the journey you're about to take virgo is that one the one okay is the one that will fill all parts of you that will feel included your light and the darker side your past and your future in the present moment 
I just feel that I, I there's just so much spiritual talk coming through for you that I feel I feel almost a little bit disconnected from comes so like I'm trying to come really back to earth basically to really uh, speak to you and like give you certain examples that are very 3d like so it's adjustable for everybody basically but what I keep feeling I, f I feel like I just want to keep talking uh, in the in a spiritual way you know but I'm trying to tone it down a little bit but I'm it's just Pisces season it takes me on journeys and I, I just have to go with the flow so ten of cups that's the energy that <laughs> that will definitely feel um feel so fulfilling <laughs> you're so it's so happy and it's like you know there's this person who gives you butterflies and you just start to blush like it's like i feel like you're becoming a little red because you like feel this energy around the person so i don't know who that is but it's an energy so here we have the beautiful king of cups okay and um the king of cups is all about that feeling like i don't know i don't know who is offering you this ten of cups who is giving you these feels or is like making you blush i don't know but it's definitely around you virgo it's coming in for you in the month of march you might just be surprised <laughs> i think that's gonna be the title okay king of cups so serious commitment serious feelings serious emotions and then we have the seven of cups do i choose love now it arrived at my doorstep or do i choose this job now it has arrived and how do i combine the two how do i combine it with all the things that i'm already trying to to achieve or i'm already trying to hold up so there's this thing you're not really completely sure what you should feel like because i feel like if something is coming towards you when it comes to love you don't know really if it's real so you need to really tune into yourself whether it's your intuition talking or your fear of getting hurt of changing you know because if you're used to being single and you have your job and you have your things virgo then it's not easy to shift off that energy because you know if you not allow another person close to you things will change and shift you know cannot stay the same so you have the hierophant yeah it's a serious level of commitment i'm feeling coming true so if the two of you are con connecting and committing, I really feel that if you take the time, it's definitely very, um, it holds like a lot of potential. It's beautiful, actually. So the Hierophant came true between the Strength and the King of Cups. Then we have the Seven and the Page of Pentacles, meaning that this person loves you. Um, how do I put that? loves you like the person you are the things that come naturally to you the things that make you a virgo okay it's just like i just love the way you speak or love the way you see the world or i love the way you do things and i love the way you clean dishes like it's so i just love everything about you it's like that you know person holds you in high regards basically is what i feel strongly so it's like a new love journey or a journey between you and a person you've been with for a long time it's like seven of cups and the eight of cups meaning you're walking away beautiful page of cups as well and then it's so beautiful i'm sorry <laughs> i'm getting all these feels okay I'm trying to tone it down because i know i'm talking to virgos so let's tune it down nine of cups with the page of cups meaning that it's what you want it okay you're moving from that energy of like oof there's just so many options or is it really what i want you see all these cups is it love is it is it is it um is it just a you know storm basically it just comes into my life and ruins everything and then walks right out again like you know like that um no you're walking away from past hurt past emotions basically and allowing new energy to come in and what happens is that there's a person who fills up like one brings in the pentacle the other one brings in the cup and it's like one brings in the stability and another one brings in the creative energy flow and just the fun side of things and it's a beautiful balance between the two of you it's what i'm feeling and it really does bring you that sense of satisfaction but this is something that you have to feel within first okay the nine of cups you have to feel about your life outside a relationship 
okay outside a union outside another person it's about you should feel this way within your life first before you can really feel and tap into the ten of pentacles if you're out there searching for the perfect story well you finally can have ten of cups and you're starting off as a page of cups meaning you're not there yet you're never gonna feel that sense of fulfillment because it's gonna be a lot of pressure on a another person you know you first find happiness within and you can add to that happiness then we have the world card beautiful it's a new beginning it's it's a shift it's a change so i do see you guys walking away from something and you're overcoming something a change what's up the world card beautiful new beginning opportunities coming towards you okay one circle nine of wands yeah some of you are not ready because you still have to leave a certain way behind your lion is still too loud okay he needs to sit down and join the party he can be there but he cannot control everything he cannot go out there and scare people and stuff okay you need to control him but <laughs> what i feel with this is that when it comes to things shifting and new change you know uh, things start to feel better some of you really do feel like oh like that like i've tried that before i thought it shifted before and then it changed right back into what i knew and i got hurt again and i i opened up and then i ended up with empty hands again it's like that it's okay but then if you feel that way about a new beginning about change about a new chapter you got to try and tame the lion you got to see that 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 energy that side of you really protected you for a long time virgo so it's it it served a purpose but now it's hurting you it's holding you back from something that really really wants to come true for you some of you might move to the outdoors like you might feel the need to really get out of the city life and you start to start with a little feeling and then it starts with looking up some sort of youtube videos about how to build your own house in the woods you know and then you're like hmm, looks nice and then you start to just get more interested in maybe uh, having a vacation home outside the city and it's just start to grow and grow and grow and a part of you really wants to stay but another part of you feels like hey i just need fresh air or it's vice versa maybe you had too much energy outside the city of life and you need that energy again with being around people and having rush hours and maybe that's something that sparks something within you but know what you need not about what is hip or what, what people see you as or what your family wants you to do it's about what does your soul need at this moment in time and work towards that it's like some of you really are actually building your own house somewhere in the woods or I don't know where on the mountain because here she has the first thing you know and it's an empty space let me see virgo what's coming through for virgo what else coming through for virgo there we go the magician beautiful all right see it's actually the magician is actually a card on the the oh how do you put that like printed on the front of the box yeah <laughs> the magician so meaning that you do have the power to shift it you do have the power within it's just about releasing the pressure on yourself releasing the expectations releasing wanting to control the outcome because that makes you feel safe feel safety in the universe and and the unknown and it's, it's a matter of perspective the situation is not that much different just the outcome will be different if you're trying to release some of that control around it i know a lot of you are already doing it and you're doing great but some of you are really still stuck in that and it's a false sense of security okay it's a false sense of security it's not really that secure 
or safe or anything like that it just kind of sort of holds you in a situation where you cannot live to your fullest potential and where you cannot feel that sense of nine of cups a sense of fulfillment so embrace the new embrace new beginnings start um some of you really are starting this bullet journal for 2020 go for it so you know if you feel like um plan something on this new moon in virgo uh sorry on this new moon in pisces if you're listening to this the first day i upload it or maybe when you watch this you know it's meant to happen whenever it happens maybe plan something a little it could be in a little way maybe you can get like a little you know all in one package or something like that i I spoke about this with pisces as well and to just have patience and let things grow the way they're meant to grow we cannot we cannot control something that's coming out we can nurture it we can give it the energy uh and time and 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 love and then it will come in divine time it will come out of the soil right so um maybe that's something that will help you be more patient with your own journey as well it's uh, i would love to see it though like if you're planning on doing it uh keep me up to date how they're growing (laughs) uh yes okay i'm gonna clear out this deck for now let me know what you think about this deck i really do love it um i'm gonna shuffle this deck for you get an extra message for my beautiful virgos what can they expect in the month of march any extra message for my virgos any extra message for my virgos home your household situation is improving either through a move hmm, to the woods <laughs> or a healthy change in occupants things are moving into a much more calmer energy for you virgo so home home is where the heart is at your household situation is improving okay so listen to your soul if it's guiding you to shift your um household situation and think about options um you can maybe change that you you feel better in and put that first right now because if you don't feel at home in your own home you um you won't really recharge your energy okay anyway um okay virgo if you enjoyed this reading let me know and um yeah if you're still here i'm sorry i'm i was just (laughs) zooming out mercury retrograde really has my focus all the way screwed up but um yeah if you're still here okay thank you so much for listening to the end of this reading leave me a shell emoji okay so i know that you were all the way up here and leave me a like because that really helps my channel as well i never ask for likes but for some reason i think i might start doing it because uh you know it's energy you're sent to the channel so anyway virgo i will stop rambling and i'll see you guys back soon on my channel i love you so much and have a beautiful full moon in your sign okay bye bye virgo